it really is one of the most horrifying crimes that we deal with. Now at 11, an alleged serial rapist is in jail tonight. Authorities say they know about three victims and there may be more. That is why we are going to show you his picture tonight. Police say 30 year old Adonis Hicks attacked the women at gunpoint. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle talked with authorities about this long case. Adonis Hicks is being held here at the Hamilton County Jail on six counts of rape involving three alleged victims. Now the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office is worried there could be more. According to Amy Clausing with the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office, the first incident happened in Mount Airy. Um, the first victim in September, she was walking home and essentially grabbed off the street. Clausing says Hicks forced a woman off the sidewalk and into an isolated area. He's alleged to have raped her at gunpoint. Um, the nightmare scenario of walking home and something like this happening to you is really some of the worst of the worst of what we see. The next two incidents taking place in November, one in Mount Airy, the other in Westwood. Both of those victims, transgender women, both taking place inside the individual victim's home. I'm not really sure. Um, Ex exactly the nature of how they met online. I asked Clausing if there could be other victims. It seems to be a flurry of activity within a few months. Um, all three victims happening so close. Obviously, we're concerned. Somebody's out there that we haven't heard from that, you know, it hasn't felt confident coming forward. Um, and certainly given the the area that he was doing this in. It seems to be a pretty specific part of town. Hicks faces counts of rape, aggravated robbery, felonious assault, and kidnapping. Clausing believes all could be crimes of opportunity. It seems to be patterned behavior targeting what at least appear to him to be vulnerable individuals. Um, and certainly on the night that they came upon him, they were in vulnerable positions. Hicks next day in court is set for February 18th at 9 a.m. We'll be there. We'll provide updates for you on WCPO.com. For now, reporting in downtown, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.